Big Savage in the building, Grand Don't Stop Unless It Kill Me, you already know. Welcome to the Savage Nation. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. And today, creepy ring doorbell camera clips. <laughs> shit, something like that. It looked real interesting shit, so we're going to fuck around with it. And you feel me? I got a ring doorbell camera, and I experienced some wild shit on that before. So I know just how crazy it be sometimes watching them clips. And, you know, for the safety of your home, if you don't got one, shit, what the hell is you doing, bro? Let's tap in, though. Hey, who's in my house? I got you on camera. Damn, this nigga make it. Welcome to Creep Caught. In this video, we'll be looking at 30 creepiest moments caught on a doorbell camera. This video shows a man... I wonder if somebody gonna get their ass popped on here. At 6.30 a.m. in the morning. That's legal. When the front door didn't work, he tried the back door, but the homeowner received a notification and saw the man on his phone. The homeowner yelled at the burglar, who was adversely affected. The police arrived quickly and were able to apprehend the suspect because he hadn't gone far from the scene of the crime. The first video Buddy, was recorded go. in the early hours of the morning at an apartment building in Toledo. The doorbell footage shows a man knocking on the front door with what appears to be a gun in his crotch area. It looked like he had a pipe, but then the way he grabbed it, like he twisted his arm a little bit, like you, you, you saying it, bro? The nigga, look, gun in his crotch area. Right there, it looked like he had. What's okay? Maybe you know what? <laughs> I peeped the situation. <laughs> he got one, but he don't know how to tuck it. So that motherfucker like down there, bro. Like if he ain't even ready, his draw time would be like at least ten seconds, bro. If you was a real gunslinger and pulled up on him and you feel me, you could whip your shit out and probably drop it, pick it back up, still have time before he get it out for <laughs> He done, bruh. Or he was bluffing. But I seen a little black piece, it looked like, you feel me? Unsettlingly, a second suspect emerges from a nearby Ooh, dumpster and also that would have been a nasty setup. Whoever they was trying to get might be lucky if they got away from that. Whether you was ready to protect yourself or not, shit. Buddy was snake back there real slick, bro. That would have been a nice little surprise, especially if he had something too. The two then walk over to the back door and try to pick its lock. Oh, but they ain't successful. done. There are ambiguities regarding the two-minute strategy, as the first suspect's rucksack is nearly empty, suggesting they intended to steal the establishment. Yeah, they were trying to get some. They yet disclosed the identities of the two suspects, and are yet to be identified. The dashboard video begins with a person in a mask. Oh, that mean they got away then, because he giving police updates on all these cases, it seemed like. Approaching the door, and covering the doorbell with tape, the homeowner is notified and prepared to take out his weapon, but eventually one side of the video peels off, revealing the person in the mask is gone. The homeowner is unsure if they were just kids playing a joke, or someone who intended to harm him. Nah, be not. Neighbor, who used something sticky to shake the video camera. The owner called the police. I don't know about that one, kids playing the joke. Nigga might be up all night after saying that. <laughs> and reported the neighbor, who was later jailed. On a sunny afternoon in San Diego, a resident confronted a door-to-door -door salesman who claimed he was looking for Robinson's residence at 712, which was different from the residence he was at. This is uh, Robinson's residence at 712? Uh, no, you're at the wrong house. It's 721. Oh, I apologize for that. The property owner then sent the video to the neighborhood police, who confirmed that the man had been accused of breaking into at least 19 homes while posing as a salesman. Oh, he been going However, crazy. the man has not yet been apprehended by authorities. Ah, uh, they still ain't got him now? 56 has been harassing his disabled neighbor <coughs> and his carers for two years. He has been found guilty of three counts of harassment 
placed under a curfew in order to pay reimbursement for the harm done to Prasad's property. What the fuck? A curfew based on what? Let's be real, bro. If he was black, the nigga would have went to jail for this shit. Go fast, country. What is he Rex doing, though? placed on an electric tag for the better part of a year in order to complete 20 weeks of rehabilitation. He's just doing weird, stupid shit. <laughs> but, all right, buddy might be sick in the head, bro. Let's not, let's not laugh. Ain't no way he just doing this shit purposefully just to piss him off, bro. It's, it's way, way more smarter shit you can do. He's just gonna beat the camera to death every time you walk past it. Know what this remind me of? What movie is that, bruh? Or is it a TV show? Uh, whatever it is. Motherfuckers like brainwashed and they get triggered by something and every time they walk past that or it, somebody say that word, it just start doing crazy shit or start doing that. You know, like you hypnotized or something, bruh. It seemed like he it seemed like he normal to these that motherfucking camera get on him, then he just starts spazzing out, bruh. Like, look at him. Look at his eyes. <laughs> look like he in a trance or something, bro. And then look, he got big ass bags under his ass. But look at the sun. It's bright as fuck outside. He just woke up. Stephen Prasad's niece is frightened for her safety as she looks like he ain't slept in ten days. Intention to abuse her uncle. Oh. Nigga, look, he ain't slept in 10 days. He got weird shit. For, well, hold on, bro. Take that back. He got bags under his ass right here, too. Does this nigga ever sleep? He look extremely tired every time you see him. Stephen Prasad's niece is frightened for her safety as she fears Groves may have a behavioral intention to abuse her uncle. Police don't seem to be able or willing to do anything more to help, leaving Prasad in a vulnerable position. An individual is seen looking for something during a night out in nowhere, holding an Allen wrench Damn. in their hand. So it was nothing they could really do with him. I wonder, bro, all that gonna lead to something. He gonna do something that's, you know, because that ain't really nothing. But he gonna like go crazy one day. Gotta be. Same like his program to happen. Shit, he banging on that dang else. <laughs> Just insert a person in one of them scenes and it's gonna get ugly, bro. Sheesh. Get that guy off the streets. Look at this dude, bro. And while reaching for something, possibly a pistol, he's trying to look back into the home through the blinds. This is a frightening and disturbing What's that other thing in his hand? The video shows a confused and disoriented man sitting in front of a door with a chair and a beer can in his hand. He pulled up with the lion chair. Definitely drunk. The locals became concerned because they were unsure if he was carrying a weapon. Man, do it look the like he had chosen one. a better time to drink his beer. The person who owned the property saw a bear approaching and opened the front door for his dog, but the bear managed to miss him. Damn, now that's a scary ass moment right there. Now that is real, fuck all that other bullshit that they just saying that uh, we done had going on with the randoms and the creeps and all that. This right here we go, here's some real life, bro. What would you do if you seen your pet about to get mauled by a damn bear, bro, I know your heart will drop. 
Because you ain't going to run out there and go get them, but you like, come on, I need to get you. Like, run your ass. In. <laughs> you, I know you praying that he fast enough to get away at that point. Because, man, that's a big-ass bear, too. And that don't even look like a full-grown bear. That look like a medium-sized teenage bear. That bear's still eating. That bear is still growing. The dog must have been terrified to think of an animal ten times their size attempting to devour them. On August 9th, 2016, a Portland man and his family were preparing for a vacation when their doorbell camera alerted them to a man with a handbag attempting to take one of the suitcases. The house owner chased down the man who eventually dropped the bag but admitted that it wasn't the best course of action. Yeah, it wasn't. Because, first of all, if you prepare for a vacation, okay, cool, boom. Why the hell are your bags? I mean, I get why they at the door, but why are they outside the door to where anybody can come up and get it? Don't answer that question. I know why. And I've been in those neighborhoods. It must be nice. That's all I'm going to say. And move on. A woman left her unlocked car outside. But don't be that damn night. stupid. Even and in them neighborhoods. And stole her possessions. That's how I would think. A few hours later, the man was caught on the woman's doorbell camera, trying to use her collection of keys to access her house's front entrance. But he stole her purse. Fortunately, the keys did not include a door key, so he could only leave by strolling away. If the pair of keys included a house key, things would have turned out very differently. This video was shot in Texas Texarkana, where an individual beep in, even though the resident is there and is being asked to vacate. That buddy is real, Jack. Y'all ain't gonna answer the door for the police, and that's very unusual around here. I mean, I ain't even. Hello? Oh, Lisa, show me a Get bag. What's that? I can't understand you. Show me a badge, nigga. You're what? I don't give a damn who you is. I said my shotgun said, where's your badge, bitch? <laughs> Sir? How come every time I come up here, somebody different owns this place, and I know the girl, this person that owns it. And I am the police. She lives in one of my apartments. Stacy Crawford owns this. I'm going to tell her. Then we'll be back to move. I'm alive. After an argument, he lashes out at the camera and uses a boot to cause damage to the property. Nah, B. Now you gone too far. It was funny arguing with you while I'm in the bed chilling and you out here making a fool of yourself. Once you start doing all this, you might really got to pop a cap in this nigga. At least give him a leg warmer or something. Like, nah, B. <laughs> Gonna have to tone him the fuck up. At least a leg warmer. Bare minimum. A man tries to break in through the back door of a residence, making two attempts but still unsuccessful. Two additional women join him, and one of them flees. The motion detector alerts the homeowner who panics and yells for them to leave. Hey, already grabbing shit. What did she to find that she didn't already stealing, bro? What? I mean, get in yet. You stealing paint supplies? The tall guy takes one more chance to open the door, but the homeowner shouts, cops are on the way. This prompts the tall guy to leave right away. Man, man why you ain't the door in Dallas, no, Texas and noticed a parcel outside. <laughs> no, man, no, man. But dude is, dude is slow. Dude is slow, bro. You can tell that's his first time. That man right there, bro. Major rookie. He read the writing on it, 
but something caused him to reconsider and return the package to its original location. The home's owner was fortunate to be spared from a robbery. The video shows a woman hammering on the front door of a house, but when she turns to check behind her, a man approaches her and grabs her despite her pleading. Never. I don't think she lived there. I don't think she lived there. That was somebody else's house. She knocking on the door trying to get in. And if just like you was at probably, you know, my house knocking on the door, hell, 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 he about to kill me. Mm -hmm. He ain't finna kill us. I ain't even here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can't oh, let that type of shit into your home. Call the police. Yeah, I, I call 911, sweetie. A third degree criminal abduction complaint was eventually brought against the individual, who was revealed to be 20 year old Victor Kucinich. Oh, they got him. Two men carrying weapons break into a- Damn, this nigga 20 trying to kidnap him. Uh, it looked like I, that might have been his girl or something and she left him. And, yeah, that looked like some re relationship, personal ties or something. Residents in Pasadena, definitely looked like Texas, a bus. Ordering oh, 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 oh. This situation right here. <laughs> hmm. Okay, that's in this bitch face down, chops out. Alright, fuck it. <laughs> and this situation right here. Eh. Niggas say get naked. You might have to just get naked, bro. I right, pause, but uh <laughs> it ain't too much uh leverage in this. <laughs> For one accused person lifts one girl by her hair and tells her to go to another room. Yeah, yeah. Although he, the parents who were out for the evening, but he holding that gun, goofy as hell. You could have been. Uh, I don't know how many hey, people there. I got you on camera. The cops are on the way. The cops are on their way. My neighbors, My neighbors are there. They're they're calling the cops right now. Hey, shout out to who the who that pops. Dad, that's probably, you know, home on whoever it is, probably his kids, whatever, whatever. But Buddy holding that gun goofy as hell. They could have, you feel me, fight or flight situation, grab that motherfucker and knock him out. I don't know how many people that, I don't know who behind the camera and all that, if you feel me, how many guns is pointed on them. But if it's just that one, you can definitely get in this tour, y'all. Nigga, you grab that leg, I'm get the gun. As soon as I get it, sweep his ass, he gonna hit the floor, hit his head, boy, what? <laughs> you gotta be thinking in these situations, shit. I know it's hard, some people get to panicking and all that. Nah, you don't wanna do that. Stay calm, nigga. Panic motherfuckers that fast. Y'all better get out of my house. Y'all better get out of my house now. It is a terrifying incident. If you watch the video there, you can see what a traumatic incident it actually was. They were communicating with the burglars over oh, I think it was radio, just them too. Which may have influenced their hasty departure when the camera system started recording. Camera system nah, nah, activates and someone's talking to them saying, Nah, that plan might not work. Never mind. <laughs> it could have been the plan in that situation, but maybe not that one, because the other dude got a handgun. He only he, he holding it right too. That's the you can tell he the one he might really pop gas. Quick. But he was a little short, aggressive one. <laughs> You could tell the energy was dead. Saying, get out of my home, get out of my home. You can see how quickly they left. A similar incident occurred in Washington, D.C., when a man attempted to break into a home with his face partially hidden. All right. Shout out to this dummy of the week. Hold on. Bam! Right here, sir. Sir! Sir, 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 hey sir, you know when you buy a mask and go do a crime, it helps to actually use the shit. 
I know, right? Damn, they ain't tell you that when you bought it. Yeah. It's fucking just dummy. Use it, bro. I hate these type of goofies, man. You deserve to get caught on everything you do and get the, the max punishment every time, bro. He approached the house from the porch. Nah, I don't cover the damn camera now, nigga. We seen you. No success. Stupid ass. He then attempted to enter through the rear door, which was locked. Does lock nigga ain't had no better plan than that. We must always check to ensure that windows and doors are locked for our safety. Two videos were shot during the 2016 clown epidemic. In the first video, a person in a clown <laughs> costume is seen brazing a sword before people. Hey, that clown shit was going nuts in Chicago, bruh. <laughs> I'm glad they got through that way, bruh. That man, that shit was it was kind of spooky and kind of weird at the same time. Like I'm not like afraid of clowns or nothing, but it just like. It's the obsession to be a clown, bro. Like, you could just, just do what you was going to do without the clown shit. <laughs> it was, it's just funny, bro. It's just funny. Peeking close to the front entrance. I ain't going to tell you how to do your stupid shit, though. Just... <laughs> bro, he just rang the doorbell. <laughs> this nigga, hey, what you fucking playing? Trick or treat, nigga? <laughs> In the second yeah. video, a costumed clown person is seen waiting in the radius, gazing at the front door. <laughs> I'm about to say, where yeah, I said. This nigga ain't never just ring the doorbell, though. <laughs> I'm done. They ain't know nothing, they just trolling. Whether these were practical jokes or not, most people wouldn't want to let any of these two people in. The doorbell video from New Mexico shows a man approaching a residence in the middle of the night and acting irrationally. Is that Zooty boy? NBI. It's unclear if he's trying to break in or has gone insane, but it's a good thing that I think a little bit of both shit. as nobody knows <laughs> what may have happened. This clip shows a man dressed up as a police investigator and asking if he can open the door. It has been reported that he has not actually tried to enter anyone's homes. Instead, he remained in character and seemed to be a baffling con artist. Buddy just trying to get over on him. It would have been scary if he had succeeded in his original plan. A strange individual approaches and rings the doorbell, but when asked to leave a message, the man sticks up his middle finger and begins mumbling in another language. Come on, leave a message. They asked him to leave a message <laughs> at the doorbell. Thanks for stopping by. If you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. Damn, that's some fancy shit. How the hell you get that doorbell, bruh? That motherfucker take messages? Oh, shit. <laughs> so you never gotta open the door again. What? He lingers there for a while before oh, no. without leaving any messages. In this video, we learn how a man walks right up to the front door and tries the handle, but this woman manages to lock it in time. Mm, there you go. Good shit.
He then puts on gloves and zip ties, and sees the woman quickly pick up her dog and run inside. When her neighbor comes outside, the man picks up a nearby garden hose and pretends to perform yard maintenance. Damn. That she was home alone too? Buddy was trying to what? That shit is shame, bro. Shame. Man, he is a freak bull too. He was gonna do some weird shit, bro. He wasn't trying to do nothing crazy like rob a goof-ass, goofy-ass man. I mean, just look at it. took the police to arrive, the man tried to break into almost every window of the house and broke off the screen of one of the back windows, but he was ultimately unsuccessful. Damn. The homeowner eventually posted the footage on TikTok, hoping that someone would identify the individual. On November 12th, 2019, a ring doorbell came. You can tell that ain't no, I'm about to go break in somebody's house type of thing. He, that was a spur of the moment. I mean, I don't know. He had the gloves and the zip ties. Maybe he just a good, supreme goofy with a fucking white and yellow Lakers hoodie on. What? Camera captured a disturbing video of a woman yelling for help while being followed by a white car speeding down the street with the trunk open. All these niggas in this vi in, in these videos deserve supreme belts to asses. Oh wait, hold on. What the commentator said. 2019, a ring doorbell camera captured a disturbing video of a woman yelling for help while being followed by a white car speeding down the street with the trunk open. Oh. Where the car at? LAPD responded to a report of a possible kidnapping and reopened its investigation. A witness also heard a man say, I'm sorry, in the video, but nothing has come to light. This clip should- I think he put in the trunk, he ain't tied up or nothing. And you know every single trunk that you get in, if you're locked in it from the inside, it all they all got that little lever that you can open it from the- So if your hands is free, you can open the trunk while you in there, but maybe she ain't want to jump out or something while he was speed. I think that could have been a situation. Shout out to her for being smart enough to know you can open the trunk. Shows a man who tried to break into someone's house. Unsure if the man who came to the house was merely trying to scare the residents or using the doorbell camera as a retina scanner. Why don't you help? Talking about as a retina scanner. <laughs> However, he was still trying to open the door with his keys, even though he knew there were people inside and that they were going to call the police. Right, what did this weirdo on? Attempts, but he was unsuccessful. With his own keys? He don't know if he was intoxicated or misunderstood, whether it was his own house or if it was an attempt to break into someone's home. That ain't no break-in. He gotta be misunderstood, bro. He looked confused and shit. I mean, now, you know what? See how he was looking at the camera? Maybe he was scoping out the place, trying to act it all out and just see what happened first. All we can say is that the residents survived a horrific situation. The following video shows two Steeler men, one of whom I don't believe has come to visit for a cup of tea. Oh. Oh. They were shoot himself? carrying weapons and attempting to break into the residence when one of the burglars accidentally shot himself in the foot. Ah, I heard that shit. I'm like, wait, did he shoot himself? Dumbass. <laughs> I told you, all these niggas deserve the max punishment. Supreme belt to asses for doing what they doing and being so stupid at it. As soon as he was shot, thankfully, the homeowner avoided a horrific situation and made it through the evening. 
This might have been worse if they had succeeded in breaking in and hurting someone inside the house. That looked like a girl too on the right. Video was captured by a doorbell camera and broadcast on doorbell news. Talking to herself. As you can see, a strange looking man stands outside a door and then, in a scary voice, he summons another man to come right up in front of that door. I'm like not talking to myself. According to reports, they broke into a family house and took a few goods, and police are still hunting for them. Always keep your doors locked, even if only for a minute while putting out the trash. Yeah, they, the next they video is very amazing. We typically see humans attempting to break in. No in mask video, or nothing, still looking for them. see a bear strolling over to the front door to ring the doorbell. Oh, we got another bell. Yeah, that'll make you shit yourself. There. Go. <laughs> no way. Yo, shout out the homie here. <laughs> this nigga instantly hopped on the mic. Hey, bear, fuck out of here. What you doing? <laughs> the bear looked up too, like, hey, what's up? What you say? How you doing? <laughs> hey, that, hey. That's probably some shit I would do too. I ain't gonna lie. You know I ain't trying to talk to him. You know I mean? Scare him off or something. Get started yelling. <laughs> Cause I'm damn sure I ain't going out there. You you can you can feel you can you can promise that. I ain't never going out there. But you gonna do something. That's crazy. Bear, go away. He's looking at me. Bear, go away. He ain't trying that shit. You can hear the owner of the house asking the bear to get out of there. That's one hungry bugger. Um, bro, he this video fool. demonstrates how doorbell cameras can aid in the detection of repeat offenders. This woman in Colorado was caught on video twice attempting to break into homes. With the help of this film and local neighborhood, people are banding together to figure out who is attempting to break into all of these residences. What do you say, Colorado? Hopefully, they will apprehend that insane woman. Damn, this even video come. posted by WSLS 10 on October 18th, 2018, a woman and a young boy approached a Texas home and the woman did the unthinkable. The woman knocked on the door and ran away, leaving the boy there for the homeowner to claim. The homeowner then opened the door discovering the child alone. The police assumed that was the child's mother and that she abandoned him at the random house, but that wasn't the case. The woman said her, it was the child's mother and told her to leave the boy at his father's residence. The woman stated she fled because it was cold and she lacked a jumper. The issue was that it wasn't the father's house. That was a stranger's home. The cops took the boy into care and are deciding whether or not the child may return to either of his insane parents. My vote is no. What kind of strategy is to leave the child alone at the what bro this hold on that shit just got so deep and so serious at the same time i couldn't even think of a joke let alone wrap my head around what the fuck i mean nah and look how she dropped it off like you, you could tell that she knew that that was a random person house leaving the boy there for the homeowner to claim the homeowner then opened the door, discovering the child alone. Even if it was cold, and that's her reason. Like the, the way she mother, look how she and that she abandoned him at the random house. Look how she brought him up and was holding him. To, like that ain't nah, B. That's like I'm trying to hurry up and you feel me get it done so I can get you feel me run. Mm. Mm. That ain't like nah, nah, B. Hold on, let let's see. But that wasn't the case. The woman said her. It was the child's mother and told her to leave the boy at his father's residence. The woman stated she fled because it was cold and she lacked a jumper. The issue was that it wasn't the father's house. 
that was a stranger's home, the cops took the boy into care. Look, and she was holding him by one arm all the way to the door. Of his insane parents. My vote is no. What kind of strategy is to leave the child alone at the wrong house? What is the matter with people? Yeah, she knew the wrong house. She didn't. She didn't know where the doorbell would look. She, she, cause she went to the camera first, and then with this other hand, she knocking on the door itself. Like she didn't even know how to alert properly. She just did everything. <laughs> In this video, a guy is standing on his doorstep. Oh, whoa, 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 shit, whoa, 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 dude. Hey, the end of this motherfucker is roll. This shit's getting real, bro. These bears ain't no joke. I was just talking about a situation that can go either way with that bear. Wrong house. What is the matter with people? In this video, a guy is standing on his doorstep. Oh, it just ran straight up. Attempts to enter since the creature has seen his puppies. Yeah, he had all them dogs right there. Ah. I think he lost a, a puppy or two, did it? Damn, bruh. Did that bear take the puppy? Black bear attempts to enter since the creature has seen his puppies. Ah, uh, uh, it looked like he got one. It looked like he got one. I seen the other one run back. If he ain't run, if that other one ain't run, he got it. The guy addressed the bear with the possibility of preserving the puppies by placing the wooden couch in front of the door, but he was terrified. He entered the house with the puppies, and the homeowner was successful in saving those adorable tiny puppies. I know, he got them all? Okay. In this video, you can see a man wandering along the hallway and peering at doors while holding a pair of shoes. Boy, look at this smush face look. <laughs> that looked like a dumb prank. Then, as you can see, he discovered an unlocked apartment door and stepped right in. But after a few seconds, he exited. Damn, walked in somebody's apartment. Lock your shit up, people. There is no proof of any harm or theft recorded in this event. However, guys, always lock your doors for your safety. It don't safety. look like no apartment, though. It looks like a stairwell or some shit. Hold on to our final clip, which is the most scariest and creepy. It might be a little cat right there. Saw. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you never miss out on our creepiest videos. One creepy night, a stinger was filmed by a front door camera. In this clip, we see a confused man who appears to have lost his way. The way he is sticking his tongue out and acting. He lost it all right. But what most people don't know is that the man is the greatest mumble rapper of all time. It's James. <laughs> hey, I, I, yeah, I see you trolling me. I see you trolling me. <laughs> Shout out to Creep Call, though. That was some man, some bangers in that joint, man. The world is really a strange place, and I think we all know that. So I say that to say. Be careful. Always be aware, man. Shout out to the Savage Nation. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace. I spent the light 10. I got the pipe in. Gonna spend a block. No type in. I just want the face like we Skype in. Can't come no hoe. They be trifling. This is one nice thing.